guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adrian. So today's video, I am finally, finally doing a little mini series. I want to show um, you guys what I am packing. And today, the first video that I'm doing in the mini series is gonna be a video pack showing my toiletry items that I'm bringing. Um, these are, most of these are for both myself and my kids, um, but some of them are just specifically for me. So I wanna show you guys that. So let's get started. All right guys, so this is my little table where I have all of my toiletry items set up. And also, I didn't mention this before, but I am including um, some uh, little cosmetic things that I'm bringing only because for me to do a separate cosmetic video, um, cosmetic bag video would not be, um, it would be pointless because I don't really have any cosmetics. It's just like some a few lip items and um, some eyeliner. So this is pretty much all the toiletry items that I'm bringing. So I'm gonna go through and explain each one. <laughs> All right guys, so first thing I'm gonna start with is my actual toiletry bag, which is this right here. This is, I'm gonna zip it up actually. It's like a little cube, I love it. It's 100% um, organic cotton, but I got this from um, Dr. Bronner's, like maybe, I don't know, maybe three or four or five years ago. Um, the first time that I bought Bronner's products, I did a big like online order and um, I got this as well. So I like it, it's really cute. It's washable, which is one thing I like as, as well. Um, and it has like all of Dr. Bronner's infamous quotes on it. So I like that as well. All right, so it zips up from the top and this is the inside. Like I said, it's cotton, organic cotton on the inside. And it's small enough so that um, once I put everything in this, it will actually fit inside my Osprey Porter bag. There's like a little cube space, perfect for it. So this bag, and also not everything that's on this table is necessarily gonna fit inside the cube, just the majority of the things here. Um, so the one thing that will not go in the cube is this right here. So this is actually a um, Olympia Fit it's a towel set. So, and I got one of these for myself and my kids as well. So, um, I don't wanna really take it all out, but I'll try. So this is a uh, fast drying or quick drying, whatever you wanna call it, towel set. So there's like a big towel, like a body towel. And then there's like a small, a medium one that's like a, maybe for your hair, like a hair drying towel. Sometimes I use it here as like, a, just to have something to step onto when I get out of the shower. Um, and then there's like a smaller washcloth. So it's like a set of three. Um, and like I said, each one of us has one of these. And honestly, they really do like dry really quickly. We've been using these. I got these last year um, for our first travel attempt, but I've been using them ever since. Like when I moved, when we moved back to um, Durham, North Carolina, I just decided, I was like, well, since I know we're still gonna travel, there's no point in going out, like buying all these towel sets and things. So I've been using this and honestly, they work fine for me. My kids complain a little about um, the slickness of them. Um, sometimes it's it's a little, like when you put, when you lather it up with soap, it doesn't have that, that scrubby feeling, I guess you could say, um, which it doesn't bother me, but you know, kids will be kids. So um, I did actually go to Dollar Tree and I found these little um, like hand, hand cloth size, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a little cloth but it has like a soft side and it has like a little scrubby side as well, like an exfoliating side, I think. And so I got each of us one of those, so we'll take those as well. And I actually don't have that on this table. But anyway, so there's a towel set. Um, and this will, I might just put this in my personal item bag because it, 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 it's not gonna fit in the cube, obviously. So there's that. Next thing I'm gonna show you is this right here. So this, is actually a container and inside 
this is a solid shampoo bar and a solid conditioner bar. So um, maybe four or five months ago, I started looking into solids because I wanted to um, not have to worry about liquids when I was traveling. Like, um, you know, the airline or um, airlines have like a liquid requirement. And you, if you go over that requirement, like you can't bring stuff. So I was like, I'll solve that problem and just do solids. And I almost feel like solids last longer than liquids. Um, I haven't tried these two yet, but I have used another solid uh, hair wash bar that I'm also bringing as well. So, and anyway, I really like them. This is by a company called Ethic. Um, you can't really see it on camera. But anyway, I got these um, a few months ago from Amazon. Um, and it was crazy because I ordered these and um, they were marked as delivered, but then I didn't get them. So then I contacted the company and then they refunded me the money. And then like a week later, I ended up getting the products anyway. So it was very weird. Like my complex said that somebody had got the, received them and then they had them in their house, but they forgot about it. And then like a week later, they realized it and brought them back up to the office. So very strange. But anyway, this is the shampoo bar. It's another cube. Um, and I want to say, oh, I can't remember what scent this is. If I, you know what, I will post the, the scent for everything here. I'll post it in the, on the video when I'm done. Um, but it smells really good. Um, I want to say it's shea butter and coconut oil, some combination of that. Um, and this one, I think it's like kiwi and something else but both of these smell really good and this little container is to help it like drain once you use it put it in here and drain okay so that's that all right and so this is another ethic bar but it's actually it didn't come in this package this is actually the package for the conditioner the green conditioner that i just showed you um and actually you know what i'm lying this is not ethic this is another shampoo bar that um, I, I bought on Amazon. This is the one that I've been using, but this is not Ethic. Um, what is this one? I can't remember. I can't remember the name of this one, but again, I'll post it in the in the video so you can, you'll have a link to it, but it fit inside this box. And so that's why I just put it inside here. So that's just an extra shampoo bar. It lathers up really, really well. I'll do a separate um, video for this, probably for my Amazon um, channel okay and also this is a, this is also ethy but this is a charcoal body wash bar um, and I haven't used this yet so it's still dry and it's still completely solid but it's it's pretty um, thick I think it'll last a while based on the reviews people say it lasts a really really long time two or three months maybe more depending on like how often you use it. So I'm planning on using this like for all three of us, all three of us will use this bar. And this container I got just from, um, where did I get this from? I got this container, I think from like a uh, Big Lots thing. Um, okay, so another solid, I'll just get all the solids out of the way. This is a Primal Pit Paste peppermint vanilla or vanilla peppermint lotion bar so again in the interest of having as many solids as possible just so I don't have to deal with the hassle of um, liquids so this is a lotion bar and basically you just when you're ready to use it you just rub it in your hands or rub it against your skin your, your skin because it kind of reacts to your body heat and starts to melt a little bit so just rub that on you. And this is vanilla peppermint. Normally I don't like vanilla by itself, but with the peppermint, it's not so bad. And it just comes in this little tin can, which I like as well, because it's reusable. So when you finish using the soap, you'll still have this little tin can. We'll take the things off. And let's see, what else? That's Ava, by the way. So that's all of my um, solids, but this is also another Primal Pit Paste product. It is the deodorant. 
um, it's baking soda formula and it's in lemonade. Um, this one actually, I don't even really wear this one, but I'm taking it because I want to use it, obviously. Um, right now I've been using um, Dove and I'll probably take the Dove bar with me as well, but this is just another, just an additional one that I'll have personally to use. All right. And then my final PPP, Primal Pit Paste product, is this, it's called Tough Teeth. And it is a, a charcoal powder, tooth powder. And a lot of people use charcoal for like whitening of your teeth. Um, and so that's what, that's pretty much what this is. This is like a 0 0.43 ounce container. So there's that. Um, I know I said I was trying to use solids to get away from using liquids. And so these, I have two things that are sort of kind of liquid. So this right here, this is a bottle of my favorite lotion. It's like a mix that I just squeeze into this bottle. And I think maybe this is like two ounces probably. So I have that. And then I do have a bottle of Bronner's that I have as well. I think I just, I bought this just to use, like if we're ever in a situation where we can't wash clothes at like a, at a, in a washing machine or a laundromat, then if I need to use the sink or something like that, then I'll just use this. So it's good to keep in handy because Bronner's, as we all know, goes a long ways. So that's good. All right, I have uh, this pack of, um, cotton whites so there's or not cotton whites cotton balls so there's cotton balls here cotton rounds and then there's some um cotton swaps here as well and i got this again from um big lots just it was a dollar so i was like why not why not get that um i bought this from the dollar tree um, I have a regular toothpaste that I'm using right now, but once we leave, I'm just going to throw it away and I'll just use this one. And the only reason, the biggest reason I bought this was because it was compact because I was trying to condense as much stuff into one bag as possible. So just a simple little toothbrush. And honestly, toothbrushes, really a lot, a lot of toiletries that we use in the United States are available overseas in other countries. So it's not that big of a deal for me to buy. So... This is another item, a favorite of mine. I bought this last year. So this is the Venus um, razor and it's like a miniature razor. And I bought it again because of size, because it's so small. It fits in there and it has holes on the bottom for when you need to drain the water out. So there's that. Um, this is a Neutrogena Wet Skin Kids sunscreen. Um, and this is mainly for the face just a sunscreen to go on my face and it's a stick so you just rub it on that kind of thing yep and I actually have a hat as well so I don't know I just I thought it was cool because it was so small so again I just bought it all right what else um, this is my contact lens holder um, this is an extra that I have that I'm bringing um, and then of course I'm bringing my glasses and I'm actually right at the end of my contact lens um, supply. So my plan is just to get them wherever we are in the country that we're going to because I know we'll be able to get them there. So um, it's just one more month supply of my contacts and then there's my glasses and then an additional contact lens case. All right, next. I have three tubes of toothpaste. Don't ask me why. I think I got them um, when I bought the little toothbrush that I was showing you. There was one in there with it. And then the other two from like going to the dentist and I've just held on to them. So I'm just bringing these, no particular reason. Just they're small, so just throw them in there. And then the final thing that I want to show you is this bad boy. So this has changed the game for me in terms of um, menstrual care or I don't know what people are calling it I'm just gonna call it menstrual care so this is I'm gonna show you so maybe 
five or six years ago, I started using, um, uh, what do you call it, Diva Cup. And so basically, if you don't know what Diva Cup is, it's like a reusable alternative to buying like pads and tampons. Um, it's a silicone mold that you sort of fold up and you insert it into the vagina and it, it opens up a bit and it, that's, that's like how you catch whatever blood is coming down. And then once it's full, after a few hours, um, after several hours actually, because you can leave it in much longer than you can a regular tampon. Um, so you just pull it out, dump it in the toilet or sink or whatever, and then rinse it out and then you can just reinsert it. And it has been fantastic for me. Like I think it saves you so much money from buying pads and tampons all the time every month so um, if you are budget conscious like I am I think it's a really good alternative thing to get um, but recently I decided to try something different not because I didn't like the diva cup just because um, like I said I had had it for a few years and I think they say you're supposed to get a new one every four to five years so it was time for me to get a new one and so I decided on the pixie cup so this is what it looks like. This is a pixie cup. It has a little um, pull thingy on the bottom tip. So basically you fold it up like so, okay? And then think of this as the vagina. You just insert it into your vagina and then it opens up. And then like I said, everything is caught in here. And then when you're ready to pull it out, you just pull it out. Some people pinch it to pull it out. And then, like I said, you can just empty it out and voila, rinse it out and it's good. Um, so this one, there's two different sizes actually. There is a, I think there's a small and then there's a large. Um, and I think the small is for women that have, have not had children and then the large is for like women who have had children. Um, and I've been using this. It, it works very nice. It, it holds uh, 30 milliliters of liquid. So it's pretty handy for that. And then this is actually my old Diva Cup bag. And so I just store this inside here. Um, and keep that like that. So that's part, oops. That's one part of it. Also, and so the Pixie Cup did come with its own bag, which is this bag right here. It's really cool, I think. But I'm using this to store um, some wipes that I got. So, oops, sorry. Pixie Cup came with these wipes. They're called menstrual cup wipes. And um, I guess you can use these for like cleaning out your cup. If you're in a situation where you don't have water, um, then you can just use these to, to clean out your cup. And then I also have some other disposable um, feminine wipes in here. And I just keep it all in this little bag just because it's pretty convenient, I think. Okay, so that's the wipes part. And then also, so this is this little container is actually a cleansing container. So it's like where you can clean your cup um, and it, it's silicone as well. So it just pops down and it's like a little cup. And what you do is you, you put your used cup inside this and you can fill it up with water and then put the top on and they say you can shake it up, shake it up and it sort of washes your um, cup. So I think it's pretty cool. Honestly, I haven't used this as much and um, you don't necessarily have to buy this. It's just, you know, if you want to, it's fine. So, and again, it folds back in. It's a little tricky at first, but it just goes back in like that. And then you put the top on it like that. And all three of those things. So actually, oh, I forgot something. Okay, so this is the Pixie Cup container this is the cup these are the wipes and sorry I almost forgot so these I have like 
six of these, five or six of these. These are reusable pads, basically. And actually, the ones that I got, these are actually reusable panty liners. But for me, for my cycle, they work very, very well. Um, so, this is the actual pad. Um, it's uh, like a cloth type material. Um, I want to say it's made out of cotton, but actually I'm not 100% sure right off the top of my head. I'll post a link for these as well below. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It, um, you just attach it the same way you would a regular pad. You attach it to your underwear and it buttons underneath like that. And then there's your pad. It's like a pad with wings, basically except it's reusable and i've been using these for i think since january and honestly guys these work so so well like so well i think they work better than pads because i don't feel like um i have to constantly get up and go to the bathroom like they're very absorbent like extremely absorbent i think they work well and then when you like you can basically when you use them you go to the bathroom when you're ready to change it um you always of course rinse blood with cold water because hot water will just make it set so um you just rinse these out i just kind of hold it under the the sink fountain and just like squeeze it until i don't see red anymore and then i usually have like a little container with some um like a little bit of detergent in it and I'll just or either you can use vinegar also I, I think I've used vinegar when I didn't have any detergent to just let it sit if I wasn't gonna wash it right away um, and I just like let it sit and then when I'm ready to wash all of them then I'll just put them in the um, washing machine wash them in cold water and let them air dry they do recommend that you air dry these because uh, I think in the um, dryer will maybe cause them to shrink so you air dry these and they dry pretty quickly that's another thing like so if you're in a situation where you don't have a washing machine you can wash these by hand and just sit them out on your sink overnight and by the next morning they're completely dry seriously you probably before that um but like i said i have like four or five of these and everything so my pads the wipes that i have the diva cup and then also the diva cup container the washing container all of it fits inside this little bag right here um this although it, it won't go in my toiletry bag this will probably go in my personal item bag just so i can have this kind of stuff close to me in case i need it okay last thing i'm going to show you and so this is a little world mat bag i got this on amazon actually um and this is like, like I said, I, I'm not a big cosmetics wearer. I don't wear, I used to wear um, foundation a few years back, but I just don't wear it anymore. So nowadays I'm mostly a little bit of lip gloss or some Carmex or um, maybe some eyeliner, something like that. Maybe a little bit of blush every now and then, but usually my blush is like whatever lipstick <laughs> that I was wearing. So this is my little, toiletry bag or sorry um cosmetic bag and basically what's in here this is some extra cotton swabs ear swabs um i have one eyeliner it's black pretty um and this is i don't know, la colors so this is probably dollar tree and then i have this red lipstick this is actually victoria lipstick it's a matte lip um, i really like this so I have that. This is a uh, Vita Lip Mango Butter. This is a really, really nice lip gloss. Like when they say your lip gloss be popping, this will make your lips pop for sure. And I have this. Um, it's a jade roller. Um, I love this. My son actually likes using this because it, when it's cold, because it it just has like a really, really good feeling to it. Um, but anyway, the Jade Roller, it's supposed to be very like soothing and help with blemishes and things like that. I'll post a link for that in the video as well. And then finally, I just have like two little safety pins that were just happened to be laying around when I was packing. So I put that in there. Um, I have a pair of tweezers and I have 
uh, some nail clippers, just a regular size nail clipper. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty minimalistic when it comes to toiletries. I don't really use a lot of different products. Um, and then what I do use, I try to use as natural stuff as possible. Um, oh, one last thing. Ha, forgot about this. So I know what you're going to say, Adrian, that's way over your liquid limit. You can't bring it. And I've heard mixed things about, um, contact lens solution. So I was like, you know what? I have this. I just, I have this at home. And so I'm going to have to either give it away or throw it away anyway. So I said, you know what? Let me just try and see what happens. Maybe I'll get somebody who lets us pass with it. Maybe not, but you know, um, either way, it doesn't matter to hurt. It doesn't hurt to try. Right. So I'm going to try it and see if we're able to get across. This is actually 10 fluid ounces. And I am putting this, um, I don't take medication like daily medication, but my daughter has allergy medication. So I'm going to put this in her, um, bag that we have all of her medicine in and see what happens. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay. So that is it. That is pretty much all of my toiletry items that I'm bringing with me. Um, and then, like I said, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, maybe later today, I'm going to do a video on um, my first aid kit and what kind of like first aid things that we're bringing. So stay tuned. Hope you like this video. If you like it, um, please like, comment, suggestions. Um, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to try to get on the ball with doing uh, regular videos. I know it's, it's been hard because I'm still working. I teach ESL online, so it's been kind of hard to get videos put out there, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. So stay tuned. Bye.